Oh, me and my boyfriend broke up last night. So I guess, welcome to my new series called Living With My Ex. Because we fucking live together. I literally have no idea how this is gonna work. I'm just as confused as you. I guess we'll just see how it goes as it happens. But I'll just tell you what happened. So if you watch my videos, you know I was just asking you guys where I should live. And I said how I really want to go to South Florida and my boyfriend does not. So last night, he's like, we really need to figure out where we're moving after this, blah, 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 blah. I said, like, I really want to do South Florida, as I told you guys. Now, all of a sudden, he wants to do New York, New York City. So I'm like, well, how the hell are we going to afford New York City, dude? Like, it's just, it's just not possible. It's really not. And then he's basically like, okay, well, if I really want to move to New York and you want to move to South Florida, why should I have to move to South Florida just because you want to, but you don't have to move to New York when I want to? And it's like, I literally wouldn't even be opposed to New York. Like, my family lives in New Jersey. It would actually be more convenient for me. Like, we literally just can't afford it, plain and simple. I even suggested Hoboken, because maybe a little cheaper and he's like no i'm not living in new jersey and now you're making this about being near your family do you know where hoboken is bro like it's literally right there and that's still over an hour from where i live like what it's literally what i said and then i was like well i could use your own argument against you and say why should i have to move to new york just because you want to it's like obviously this isn't the sole reason we're breaking up we're broke up whatever like, we've just been beefing the whole time since we moved to Nashville, and it's like, do I want to move somewhere I don't really want to go just to fucking beef with you all the time? Not really. And that's also low-key what I said. So then he's like, okay, then let's just not date. And I was like, all right, cool. But now it's like, well, what the hell do we do about this living situation? Like, my name's on the lease. We definitely can't afford to move out. We literally share a bed. Like, this is the stickiest situation ever. I haven't even told my mom. I know for a fact she's gonna be like, I told you so. I guess I'll let you know how this plays out. Cause like, the fuck? At least we know he's not bringing any other girls home, so.